hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know i know glitter on my lips i decided not to do the traditional christmas um lipstick you know green eyes and red lips i decided to do you know just neutral eyeshadow a hello um brown and gold smoky eye and then my green glitter the fun fact is that every single thing in this video except for my eyelashes and my eyebrow products every single thing in this video was bought in cyprus yep you heard me right every single thing so my eyelashes i didn't buy them here because i didn't have the time to go get them but you can get good eyelashes from here and if you want to know where you can get most of these things just comment down in the sec um, comment section below and also drop your more video also drop any more video requests you may have um if you want me to try more glitter looks on my channel guys i really had fun making this video and i really hope that you guys like it i'm going to change my lipstick to a more wearable one or i may just not if i really like this look and yeah i really hope that you guys come back to my youtube channel and see you guys in my next video so guys i start off by applying my eyeshadow base which is from w7 and as usual i use um, a shader brush to apply it all over my eyelid and i blend it out making sure to also apply some in the inner corner because we want our colors to pop then i normally set my eyelids with translucent powder but i was rushing so i just used my brown eyeshadow with the fluffy blending brush this brush I didn't buy in Cyprus anyways. I bought them from AliExpress. Well, I'm sure you can get blending brushes here. Anyways, I switched to a denser um, blending brush and I made sure to intensify the color still using the same color. Then I grabbed my Ellie Girl Pro Conceal. The main reason why I didn't um, fasten this part a lot is because I wanted to see how I do my hooded eye cut crease. Touch the concealer on my lid. Make sure it touches the upper lid. And then I get the part where I'm supposed to cut. And then I also use the same shader brush to blend it out. Now using a shader brush, I will take some gold eyeshadow and apply it to the center of my lid. Now this eye look is called the halo eyeshadow look. And in this video, I just use only three eyeshadow colors. So I'll be showing the eyeshadow palette I actually used in the next part. And this eyeshadow palette I got as a gift because I bought so much makeup from them and they gave it to me as a gift. Anyways, those are the colors I would be using and I'm just going to try blending the gold in with the brown just so we don't have any harsh lines. Then taking this liquid liner that I've been using in my videos recently, it's from Floma. And if you live in Cyprus, I think there's a Floma store in basically almost every city. There is in Levkosha, in Girne, and places like that. Anyways, I'm just going to use it to line my eyes. Let me know if you want a detailed eyeliner um, tutorial for hooded eyes. Because I didn't, you know, stay so long to give details. But yeah, that's how I do my winged liner. Now I'm just going to moisturize my face using my pink grapefruit moisturizer which is oil free from Neutrogena. I have reviewed it in a previous video if you'd like to see. I would put the link up above this video. Um, and then I would use my Max Factor foundation in the shade Sun Tan which I also bought here in Cyprus. And this Kabuki brush that I'm trying out for the first time. And yeah, I'm just going to apply it onto my face um, using tapping motions instead of dragging the brush around because it would leave streaks and that's what a lot of people are scared of when they use brushes to apply their foundation particularly me i've i'm not really used to applying brushes with brushes sorry i usually use my makeup sponge but in this case i just decided to try something new and in the end i really really liked it so i guess it was worth the purchase and i got it from mr pounds at that time, it was about 6 Turkish Liras. Um, I hear it's now 7 Turkish Liras. So yeah, I did enjoy using it. Here, I'll be using my Ellie Girl Pro Conceal, which I bought from an Instagram vendor who sells here in Cyprus. Like I said, if you would like to know any details about where I bought what, 
please just comment down in the comment section below and i'll be delighted to answer you so yeah i just used it to highlight the normal points of my face this time around i'm trying the highlights around my lips to save myself any time of um like cleaning it up afterwards and i tried to use this brush to blend my concealer it wasn't working out i had to stop and use another brush which is kind of still a brush but tinier and it got into the inner corners and it's like it's flat so i think it does the work better for me i don't know i told you guys it's the first time i'm using that brush so maybe when i get the hang of it i'll get better In the end i went back with the same foundation brush because it had like leftover foundation on it and i just used it to blend the edges of where i had applied my concealer to give it a nice and blended look and using my translucent powder from floma i'm just going to set my under eyes using a fluffy um powder brush and i'm just i'm just going to set if you know on my channel i really don't because i have dry skin and it's uncalled for at this point in time so i just went to set my face set my nose all the parts that i had highlighted basically and i'll also use my bronzer this bronzer is from alex avon the real container had broken which is why i poured it into my black opal container but it's called alex avon and i bought it from ontario at golden rose i use it as my contour and all over face powder it's not as bright as the translucent powder and it's not dark enough to contour or warm me up like that so i just use it as a face powder and to kind of warm up my face a little bit that's what i did and i really really like it because it has this nice shade to it now you guys know i dread applying false eyelashes like i just barely i'm still learning to fix them on myself let alone fix them on my channel oh like when I mean I used to hold my breath before I fixed this thing. It's a miracle, a miracle that those eyelashes stayed. So I said, let me see if I can film this and not die while doing it. So, you know, just enjoy my trial and error and stuff. You know, let's try it together, guys. Anyways, this lash tool is from AliExpress and the eyelashes as well. And I used it to fix the lash, used it to press the lash as well because after struggling, we don't want it falling off. And, you know, extra reinforcement by using hand press it press it so that it will stay there mm -hmm. and then using the same eyeshadow palette and the same eyeshadow color i used on my eyes apply it as highlighter and yes yes i was feeling it trust me camera wasn't picking it up i even thought i had applied too much it was really really good so i used it to apply on my other parts of my face which i had highlighted which is bridge of my nose and my other cheekbones and like i was enjoying myself with this eyeshadow anyways don't forget to give your cupid bow some love your chin and if you notice i was avoiding um highlights on my forehead because i had like tiny tiny pimples so i just applied it on the sides of my face instead because when i turn and the sun hits it it will look really nice if you've watched jackie Anna's video it says how to look like a bronzed goddess so like that Anyways, I'm using this green lip pencil that I got from Ondero to carefully outline my lips because I want to clean as little as possible after I'd applied this. So I use it to line my lips carefully and just give my lips the nice shape that I would like and then fill in my lips with it because it's going to be the base for the main work that is going to go into these lips. Like guys, trust me, you ain't ready. Unless, of course, yeah, you watched the introduction, which I suppose you did. But yeah, that was my plan all along, to get my lips shiny and beautiful. Then I grabbed this Maybelline black eyeliner. It's a ruler pencil, which I bought here in school, in the school market, nearest university school market. I don't know where else you can get it, but that's where I got mine. And I just use it to tightline my eyelashes. 
both upper and lower lashes by closing my eyes. That's how I get the effect. And I'm just going to use this um, mascara to join my false and real lashes together to give it that nice dark and even look. And then I'm going to use my trusty NYX glitter primer and my W7 um, cosmetics glitter which I also got from Mr. Pound. A mixture of this just gave me this very beautiful blend. I first of all applied the glitter glue on my lips and then the glitter followed. Well, if I'm to give my advice, I would say, or not to give my advice anyways, I think I'm going to try another method next time. And if it works out, I'm going to share the method with you guys. Anyways, this glitter kind of took me way longer, which is why I want to try a new method. But yeah, I applied the glitter after I had applied the glue and I just carefully, because you know glitter is messy now. We don't want glitter in our mouth, neither do we want glitter on our clothes or on the floor. So I just try to be as careful and as precise as possible. So that's how I sat down here and I applied this glitter precisely and precisely and more precisely. Anyways, just enjoy the rest of the video. I'm also going to put a picture of a look that I created during the week. It was for a giveaway that I was entering. I didn't have time to film it but I'm going to post it. So you guys just tell me if you want a tutorial and it will come right up thank you so much Thank you guys for watching i'm so grateful that you stuck around until the end please comment down your suggestions for me to film on my channel any more videos you'd like to see and i'll be really really happy to do them particularly any looks with glitter for hooded eyes because i have hooded eyes so those are the kind of videos i would do mostly so guys just comment down below whatever videos you'd like to see and yeah i'll see you in my next video wait one minute click on my face to subscribe and also watch my other videos thank you